just crossed over into the twilight zone. You are now traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it. Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy CJ and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And today we just back with these reactions. It's with your boy Blind Fury. And I can't believe who he did a collaboration with. It's probably the smartest thing he's done so far. Which he made a, if you don't know Blind Fury, let me just give you a little, before I get into this, let me give you a little background story. Blind Fury is an old school rapper. From, like compared to lots of these cats i swear he was on mtv i'm pretty sure and he was not M was it mtv oh my goodness i'm giving a blank right now one second let me do a little research okay yeah no blind fury what he was in he was in uh friday freestyle which is a segment on bet's popular show one in six in park where they would freestyle, two people would freestyle against each other, right? Go back and forth. And whoever had the better verse won, right? And then I think they would get titles and monies, monies, and some good old loot for you to win. And that's where I first heard of him from his, like, not, I'm too old, I'm too young for that. But I seen, like, uh, little clips of it and whatnot. And I seen Chris Brown freak out because Blind Fury was rapping the whole time and then he starts singing a tiny bit and Chris Brown freaks out he was not expecting a thing shout out to Chris Breezy look check it out they said let it breathe I'ma let it breathe I already win boy you better leave you ain't never gonna do nothing like this I don't even know why you up here like this huh. But yeah, he yeah. If you want to see clips of Blind Fury, go to 106 and Park Freestyles. Blind Fury, search that up. You'll get some good shit, man. It's epic the shit he did. I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all, but and I don't want to say it because I'm not good at saying things, obviously. But guys, and Mercules, freaking Mercules. That's I didn't even get into the best part of this. There's, it's a collaboration. It's I don't it's not featured or anything, so it's Blind Fury and Mercules. It's both of their songs, 50-50. I seen uh Blind Fury do a premiere of it, and it's on Mercules channel. I'm gonna do it on Mercules, but it's called Friends Back, produced by C Lance. So yeah, let's just get into these shenanigans. And yo, Mercules, that was an awesome shout-out you gave me. I got a cameo from you, and yo, mad respect. Let's get into these shenanigans. Let's go. Yo. Oh, this is gonna be deep. I can just tell. Let's see. Let's see what's God's story. I used to have a lot of friends, but I lost them. Cause they went to prison or ended up in a coffin. A couple Woo. of them thought military was really awesome. Okay. So they signed up, never knowing it would cost them. Okay. Ain't enough talking for me to even find the word. So I get lost in my thoughts and I grind the earth. They say the good die young and this life's absurd. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit that I just heard. Ah. I wish I could get back to the. You, you can just tell, like, this is from the heart. Some some are dead or in a no some are in jail or in a coffin. I like that the way the way he uh, set that up was so nice. For me to even find the word, so I get lost in my thoughts and I grind the earth. They yep. say the good die young and this life's absurd. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit that I just heard. I wish I could get back to the. Yep. When the only thing I had to worry about was remembering the. Going back with the good old days, and you only have to worry about which what or which which way to look. Whatever, I fucked that up. But I like that how like to look both ways, look both ways. There, that's what it is. And yeah, that was really good how he did that. Oh no! Sick and tired of the bullshit that I just heard. I wish I could get back to the good old days, good old days. When the only thing I had to worry about was remembering look, the look both ways, look both ways. Before crossing the street. Walk to the store for a sweet, smoke it all till I'm coughing and falling asleep. Got ah. a heart full of songs and they all don't repeat. I'm ignoring the darkness is following me. How can it be? I'm feeling so alone. I took a whole week just to do a fucking song. Woo. I try to do right, but I'm always doing wrong. Yep. So I pick up a lighter and put some weed in the bong. Write a message on my phone and now I'll never send it. Yo, Blind Fury's going in on this. In the other songs I heard from Blind Fury, they weren't mixed well enough. I didn't like how they were mixed. This is so good. The way he sounds, everything. Blind Fury's killing it. And he's telling a good story as well. You can really tell it's coming from the heart. And you can relate to it. I At least I can. 
Like, I remember those songs where for like 45 years of my life in high school and a little bit after, I would listen to songs on repeat because you find these songs that mean so much to you and then you just listen to them on repeat and you still can do it if you want to. I'm feeling so alone. I took a whole week just to do a fucking song. I try to do right, but I'm always doing do wrong. wrong. So I pick up a lighter and put some weed in the, the bomb. bomb. Write a message on my phone, and I'll never send that. Cause it's one of the homies that ain't able to hit that. Ah. If I had the time and the money, I would spend that. Yep. Just so I could get all of my motherfucking friends back. Ah. Yo, fire verse from Blind Fury. The best verse I've heard from him on a song. He can kill freestyles like it's pff, nothing. But songs. They're a little bit, for me, it's a little bit iffy. But this, he killed this. He killed this. Is that it? Or is, is Merc? Is it Mercury's time? So I take a deep nope. breath to relieve the stress and then dry my Fury. eyes. Put my head to the sky. I would be telling you a lie if I said grown men don't cry. Ah. I'd be lying if I told you real men don't cry. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. The ones don't Going over some that go overseas, some that OD. Woof, woof. That's gonna hit some heartstrings. Yo, he's gonna. This is gonna get lots of views. Blind Fury, he deserves it. He needs more views for the freestyles he do and the singing and the rapping, especially like everything. He's a talented motherfucker. I can play the piano. Sheesh. Next thing you know, he's gonna teach himself how to see. Like sheesh. Yo, and I told you Blind Fury's blind, right? I've uh, yeah, I obviously told you that. If I didn't, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, and Blind Fury, he's blind. Can you like? And he's amazing at what he does. You should see what he does. He's amazing for, for for him being blind. The stuff he can do is is incredible. I'm gonna sit back in no cheese with a couple of real old cheese. Man, I just want my friends. Yo, and Blind Fury's killing this hook. Bad friends, bad, bad, bad. Reminds me of like um the uh brothers uh the with future like brothers, like brothers or brothers, it reminds me of that a bit. Merc, let's kill him, Merc, the Canadian beast. I got a couple old friends and I think about them often. Some are still alive and some are chilling in a coffin. Some are still alive, but they be chilling in a cop. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Blind Fury started off with, too. But I think Mercules kind of said it a little bit differently. I could be totally wrong. but Or they could have just said the same thing, both of them, because that's that's just how they did it, which is kind of cool. I got a couple old friends and I think about them often Some are still alive and some are chilling in a coffin The thought of it is honestly the part that's so exhausting Cause all I ever wanted was to figure out our problems We've had a lot of disagreements over petty shit Then life got in the way and somehow we seem to let it slip Woo. The blessing is Yo, I've had so many friends that we've ended friendships because of the stupidest shit. Like, we could have just talked it over and been friends afterwards. But things just split up, like he's saying. It. Losing friends and losing just stuff in general is sometimes just over the stupidest shit. The pettiest shit. You can lose your phone over the stupidest shit. You can lose your best friend over the stupidest shit. Life's a funny thing. It really is. And if you have a friend out there that you should be friends with and you know that he's good for your life and you guys just click but you were fighting over the stupidest shit a girl money just leave it alone all right are you gonna ruin a friendship over stupid money unless he does it to you and fucks you over lots of times and it's a little bit different but if it's just a one-time deal get over it all right Trust me. Often the thought of it is honestly the part that's so exhausting because all I ever wanted was to figure out our problems. We've had a lot of disagreements over petty shit that life got in the way and somehow we seem to let it slip. The blessing is I see that you got kids and a wedding ring. Oh, so he's talking about a girlfriend or, a, or an ex-girlfriend or wife, not a friend. Okay. I bet they're all grown up now, semi picks. And even though we both struggle through the pain, no matter what I made sure that my number never changed. Ah. I know as we get older, it's like nothing is the same. But remember when we said that we'd be brothers to the grave? It's kind of crazy how this lifestyle is, but I never expected it to be quite like this. Woo. I'm doing good, I got a wife, no kids. Doc told us when she's pregnant that she might birth twins. Woo. Anyways, I just. Yo, is Mercules having twins? Are you kidding me? Did he just come out and say that right now? Or am I tripping out? 
Or, can, wait, can doctors find out if somebody's more prone to have twins than not having twins? Is that what he meant? It's kind of crazy how this lifestyle is, but I never expected it to be quite like this. I'm doing good. I got a wife, no like, kids. Doc told us when she's pregnant that she might birth twins. Yeah. Anyways, I just hope the song reaches you. The other night I had this weird dream. I got to speak to you. I Woo. woke up and realized that I got to see this through. Remember all the good times when it was just me and you? This could be about a girl, a boy. Like a, the boy. This could be about a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, or it could be about like a best friend, right? It could, yeah, it could be about a few different things. But yo, this hook on also reminds me of an Akon hook. Um, I just wanna, s I forget how it goes, but it reminds me of an Akon hook as well, too. Remember all the good times when it was just me and you? Yo, Blind Fury sounds so good on this hook. I can't, I can't believe how good he sounds. The person who, like, did all the engineering for this song, he made Mercury sound... Well, Mercury always sounds good. But Blind... Like I said, they did miracles from uh, Blind Fury's voice on this. Man, I was hearing some of the Blind Fury songs that he was putting out and other people were putting out. It just didn't sound good. I don't know if it was the mix. I, I don't know, but this... This was so good. I just want my friends back, friends back, friends back. If you're hearing this, you feel me. Cause all that I really got is me. Man, I just want my friends back. Friends back. Yo, I have so much pasties. I fucking smoked a blunt. I don't know if y'all fucking could see that. Ew. Sorry, y'all. I feel like Dak sometimes, but without the hard drugs. <laughs> Yo, that was dope. That was fire. Blind Fury killed it on the hook. The singing. Uh, they made Blind Fury sound so good. Yeah, like I said, and I said that a lot. Mercury sounded good too. The beat was really awesome. The song had a good message. Just so many good things in this, honestly. Um, I'm gonna give the lyrics, uh, Blind Fury, 8.5, and I'm gonna give Mercules an 8.5 too. They didn't go too crazy with the lyrics, but you can tell the lyrics meant something, and they both told the story. It was dope. Mercules was talking about an ex-girl or a friend. I think he was switching from an ex-girlfriend to a best friend, or something along those lines, I think. I can't remember. My brain, my memory's not that good. And um, Blind Fury was just all over the place talking about how his life used to be and every, yeah, no, Blind Fury was, Blind Fury's always good at telling a story. I'll give him that with his freestyle, his freestyles, like I said, they're so good. He's one of the best at freestylers, freestyling, I think at least. And he can make a hook on the spot too sometimes while freestyling. It's, it's something else. It's really something else. But guys, I, I want to get off this. I'm tired as fuck, but once I seen this, I hopped right on and I'm like, I'm not going to sleep yet. It's like, yeah, screw this. But guys, like I said, I love y'all so much and I'm a dip. Peace out. Yo, what's up? It's Ghostface Killer straight from Staten Island. I don't mean no harm, but what I do need y'all to do is to subscribe to my man CJ Holiday's channel. CJ Holiday's channel. Subscribe to it, baby. That's the most you can do for me and do for him. I right, yo, love is love. Wu Tang's for life, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get that money, baby. Dollar, dollar bill. One. Good old days, good old days.